Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the Chloe Tang workout challenge. And we are going to be going through day seven through 14 and then showing you guys the final results at the end of the video. So guys, if you missed my part one, it will be linked in the cards above as well as the description box below for you. Don't forget guys to support the channel. All you gotta do is press the thumbs up button, that big red subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know how you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, guys, the links to all the workout videos that I completed during this will be in the link below, as well as the link to Chloe's website. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to pop on to give a special shout out to Lauren, who hit me up on Instagram. She let me know that she's also doing a Chloe Ting challenge. You got this, girl. You're going to look super snatched when it's over. Keep with it. And if you guys didn't know, my Instagram handle is at Mickey underscore Baruta. Go ahead and check me out over there. And without further ado, back to the video. Week two. I kicked off week two by trying working out in the evening. So typically I work out in the morning. I just found that was best for me. Um, it gave me the most energy throughout the day and then I would sleep well. I like to shower in the morning. I don't like to use too much heat on my hair and it's very fine so it dries really quickly. So I like to shower in the morning whenever possible. I've never tried working out in the evening though. On the first day of week two is when I tried. Hi everybody, welcome to day eight of the Chloe Ting workout challenge. We are halfway through and tomorrow we have a rest day, so I'm really excited about that. Gonna do my usual, start with my yoga. Today we have the two regular videos and then the butt and booty video, which I like a lot, so shouldn't be too bad. Me and Jupiter just did our workout yoga and now we're going to start the video. The second that I started working out, I was like, nope. <laughs> like, it was a couple hours after I'd eaten dinner and like things were sloshing around in my stomach. And I was like trying to do mountain climbers and like, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so I tried it for one day, it wasn't for me, hated it. I don't typically eat heavy before I work out. Um, and if I do, I stay away from like irritating foods, like, I don't know, dairy, that sort of stuff. And I like to have like a light breakfast before I work out and then eat something more afterwards. What works best for you it totally depends on your body and your lifestyle. So whatever your preferred showering schedule is, morning, night, and also how you feel. Try working out in the morning, see how it makes your body feel. If you're if it makes you burnt out in the by the afternoon, then try working out at night. I'm not a professional guys, I'm not a fitness instructor, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a dietitian, I'm just a regular gal. So this is just my advice based on what works for me. And my number one tip is listen to your body. Today's day nine of the workout challenge. Day nine is an active rest day, so I'm gonna be doing some yoga. I FaceTimed one of my friends to try and get some motivation. We worked out together. That definitely helped. So that's my number two tip is to have a workout buddy. Like I said, my sister did the challenge with me. One of my friends works out a lot and my other friend wanted to start working out. So we FaceTimed and worked out a couple of times, which is really helpful if you guys are low in the motivation department, try and find somebody who can help motivate you. Even if it's just texting your friend after you finish your workout and they text you when they're finished theirs, just like some kind of motivation is so helpful. For me, I'm very people oriented, I'm outgoing and extroverted. So having somebody to do it with me was really helpful. Ooh. 
Whoa, what up? Yeah. What up? This week is when I really hit a wall. Like, hit a wall. And I mean, hit that wall hard because I did not want to work out. I went through a journey during this challenge, guys. A journey. You can see in some of the videos, I had a really, really bad sunburn. I got a horrible sunburn on my back the day before I started the challenge. So if you're like on the ground going like this, doing heel taps and your like sweaty back is like ripping off on the mat. Yeah. And then it was my lady time. And at the end of the challenge, the last couple days, my internet shut down and I had to stream the videos from my phone. Sorry for using all of the data, but had to finish the challenge guys, had to finish it. It's day 11 of the Chloe Ting workout challenge. Did all four, or did all the videos. I can't remember how many right now. And uh, I feel very, very tired. It was a journey, I went through a lot and it was very, 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 very difficult for me to stay motivated. Tuning in, today is day 12 of the challenge. It was good, the same as usual. That's all. A huge part of that is because of the repetition. I briefly mentioned it in my last video, but the pure repetition of the moves, like if you got the right lineup of videos, you were doing like six mountain climbers, six sets of mountain climbers, or like four sets of mountain climbers. In And I personally, she had the two core videos, which she did every single day of the challenge. And then the other videos kind of alternated. She had three other videos that kind of alternated and you'd either do one or two of the other videos. And then she did have a special Ariana Grande video included that was optional, but I didn't try it. Hey guys, day 13, second to last day. Feeling good, feeling strong. Let's do this. <sighs> All right, everybody, we did it. That was day 14 of the Chloe Ting workout challenge. Feeling good, feeling tired and sweaty. And, uh, and very excited to show you guys the result. Now we'll get into the before and after, so I will show you guys. Overall, where I noticed the most difference is up here, like here, and then like my love handles here. Like I have my hip dips start like here. So this part here has gotten a lot smaller and then up here around this part, kind of like the bra band area also has gotten smaller. So guys, I'll let the images and videos speak for themselves. Like I said, I didn't measure myself and I didn't weigh myself because the numbers are not what's important. What's important is your health and how you feel in your own body. And I know how where I feel comfortable and that is my goal, not a certain weight because you can lose weight in an unhealthy way that's damaging to your body. It's not any better than staying overweight or staying at a bigger size. So Chloe Tang, I love you. I loved your videos. She was very motivating, very sweet. She explained everything well. The videos were shot well. And I liked a lot of the exercises, but I will not be doing another challenge. I will 100% be doing more of her videos and continue doing her workout videos. It didn't work with my lifestyle uh, schedule wise. I, I'm not the kind of person who's at that point yet where I can work out every single day, work out six days in a week and take one rest day. That's just not where my body's at. I like to listen to my body. If I'm not feeling well, I'm not gonna work out and stress out my body. But that being said, I do like her videos a lot. I felt really good doing them. I definitely sweat, 
I will for sure be incorporating Chloe's videos into my workout routine. There you go, guys. There's the final results of my Chloe Take Two Week Shred. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, press subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.